I've been home only for a few minutes. I've just got back from Hallcroft. It's been round five of the Feeder Masters Winter Pairs competition. I just thought I'd give you a nice fresh download the same day, the same evening that the match is taking place. So if I look a little bit windswept, that's because I am. Well, today's been round five. We expected today being a day when some of the pairs were really going to start changing places, really, because it's been so mild. It was forecast to be windy. I haven't filmed a live match today, but what I did do was a quick snapshot for you of the peg. Just my thoughts before the match. A little sneaky peek of one of the fish I caught, and then just some footage of the weigh-in and my immediate after-match thoughts. Apologies if the wind's blowing on the speaker, I'll try and hold the wind off, it's a bit breezy, it's really breezy up there. <laughs> it's really windy up there at the van, but down here it's not so bad. I've drawn Moat, Moat 44, on paper it's a great area, you know, there have, there have been weights coming from this area, I'm not saying it's the best peg, but certainly a chance of a few skimmers. I was hoping I was going to be probably the next one in from the end peg, but I'm not, there's one, two, at least three more anglers down to my right, down there. Second one down is Matt Pilly, and as you can see, the wind direction is really mild. You can probably tell by the way I'm dressed. It's only about nine, ten degrees, I think it is, on the van, so a lot milder than it has been. It's blowing, so there's quite a bit of tow on it. Really hoping it's going to wake, wake the skimmers up and give us a chance to, to put some weight in the net to try and catch those leaders up. Just a usual setup, you know. I've got three 11 foot, 3.3 meter rods, 4,000 reels, can fish three different spots probably rotate and just feel my way into it like I said I'm not going to be taking any chances me and Richard are only five ounce off third and two pound off second so you know the first thing we've got to do yeah we've got to catch some weight but we've got to avoid a blowout as well so Richard's drawn on bridge outer 13 I think it is I've got it written on my hand yeah 13 um, he's quite happy with that it's not a fantastic peg by any means but he's certainly in with a chance of catching a few fish there uh, and he's familiar with bridge pool as well so that's it really, five minutes to the off. Just gonna feel my way into it. And um, yeah, hopefully get some weight back. Like I say, there's gonna be there's quite a bit of tow on it. You can see the direction. There's quite a bit of tow on it, which I think is gonna help wake them up. I've heard that helps wake the skimmers up on this venue. I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Well that was a bit frustrating, um, I've caught a few fish, I don't know what I've got, I might have 14, 15 pound maybe, it's a bit hard to tell, I've had some better stamp fish, I've just had a quick chat with Matt Pillay who's two ang no, three anglers down to my right, um, I think he says he's got 25 little skimmers, so he's got about 17, 18 pound, which I don't think I've got, I really don't. Bit, bit frustrating, whatever I've got, I've had £10 of that in the first hour and then it's just gone. I don't know why. Matt says the same's happened to him down there, so I was kind of thinking, have I fed it wrong and, and that sort of stuff, but I don't know, maybe I didn't, maybe they just went and that was it. Small fish have been a problem the last two and a half hours. Last two and a half hours, I've been pulling Joker through just like everyone else's, and you know, it's really attracted some tiny little roach, and that's kind of gave me a bit of downtime which I'm, I'm a bit annoyed about but having said that on other matches you've had to feed like that so every day is different just really really hope Richard's caught but like I say it's uh, it's a lot milder, milder than it has been it has been towing like mad I've had one and a half ounce tips in today as opposed to one ounce which I've used in the past Well, it's been a really frustrating day, you know, I've got off to a flying start today. Obviously, I've started on what now must have appeared to be the right line, and I've had £10 in the first hour. Fantastic start, and they were, they were good quality fish as well. 
but then after that I've just kind of been struggling just struggling to put some fish together there's been a lot of small roach there I've been on moat out of 44 it's been a lot of small roach but they only kind of appeared the last two and a half hours for some reason and so they've been a bit of a nuisance when fishing the smaller baits I kept trying bigger baits but couldn't catch on them and it's just kind of been just catch what you can for the for the last you know couple of hours for me but yeah I've ended up with good weight I've had 16 pound 8 ounce that I've finished up with that won the section which I'm obviously pleased about um, but you know we needed more weight than that to try and pull some back on Lee and Will who were the leaders but you know there's been weights all over and you know we expected a few few pairs changing places and that's exactly what's happened today right from the outset we knew there were going to be areas especially especially as it got colder that there were going to be areas where the fishing was going to be hard even if you had the right approach we were told there'd be areas where there just weren't many fish and unfortunately it looks like that's exactly what's happened to Richard um, who's my partner for this competition he's had an absolute nightmare he's just not had bites you know I don't think he's had a bite until half past one which is just incredible fishing the way that we fish and with bloodworm and joker and all that sort of thing so um, so our, our accumulative weight today has been about uh, about 18 pounds something like that which is not not bad in the previous rounds that's been good anyway but there have been some bigger weights today there's been some pairs with 20 pound plus cumulative weights so it's knocked us down a little bit in the overall standings because i'm doing this so fresh for you the results still haven't been announced of what the overall positions are but lee kerry's done a quick calculation of the top 10 and it looks like we're in seventh i think we're about five ounces behind the pair in sixth but that's just a little bit of speculation at the minute it looks like we're seventh at the minute and lee kerry and will freeman are still leading on about 103 pounds total will's not been today he's, he's been ill unfortunately matt godfrey's fished in his place but they hold on to the lead with one round to go with tom pickering and mick viles chasing i think they're about five or six pound behind them might but might be five pound behind so yeah it's going to go right to the wire my heart of hearts without seeing the league's standings as they are now i don't think we can do enough to catch lee and will with one round to go but you never know you never know i think the top weight today has been 21 pound for an individual i'm not sure if that was sean cameron you know and when it's possible to get 21 pounds from an individual you know your partner's only got to get say 10 pound off a you know a decent draw and all of a sudden you you know you're on 30 pound plus so a lot can change one round to go it's in two weeks time that's it really i just thought you'd appreciate a nice fresh download on the same day that it's just happened and yeah the next match is in two weeks time the final round where we'll obviously be giving it everything we've got you know if we can't catch lee and will then we'll be doing his very best to uh, to to just finish as high as we possibly can we'll be giving it everything just like we have every other round but what we're doing must be right you know we fish five matches i've won my section three times and i've had two seconds so the approach the mix everything that we're doing must be right we just need a peg that's going to allow us to do it fingers crossed one round to go